Oh hello there, my name is Vishal from MyWeb and in the last video we were working on the how to insert our category form using Ajax into our database like this. If I open the click on the add new button and write the first category and click on save and we check on this. Here it show me the first category and it's have a sluggify url like this as you can see the first category and has a first hyphen category it's she convert into a, a slug type of url and when i click again as same as like and again check you can see it's also make a duplicate file but i want a unique slug url for our uh, so some some kind of seo seo feature okay so how can you make a unique slug url using php with some validation okay so and come back to the our slugify function here is our crud.php and I, I remove all the text okay all the quotes and i and i also remove this okay i just left only one parameter which is text and i open my curly braces now we need our preg replace function we need to have take a help of preg replacement and what is preg replace so if i uh, take preg underscore replace it's a have four parameters like some uh, our we have our patterns our replacements replacements our inputs and our limits yeah that's it uh yeah so it's a uh, have our patterns replacement inputs so how can you convert our text which is uh, taken by user write my text variable and write preg replace and our first thing to take our patterns so I write I take my patterns forward slash brackets upper arrow and small a to jailed and 0 to 9 okay and close our brackets plus sorry plus forward slash i okay it's like our uh, imports and something something's another okay now take a comma and now what we have we we need if we got some uh, uh, like some space so it's a replace with our divide a divider like hyphen okay and our input so, and also i want to convert into this small capital small letter so i change into the str lower dollar text okay now we have our text which is convert into the slug function slug url if i write text equal to hello world so it's also convert like this hello hyphen world okay so now i will remove this now uh, what do we need to validate this if i return this text return dollar text okay and again uh, when i check this okay now it's a second category and click on the save button and check in the browser 
okay there is something wrong so let's see so uh, let's see what's not uh, going click on save and check in this cut underscore string called on defined function str okay sorry uh, my mistake it's not str lower it's, it's a str to lower string to lower okay now i click on again save now it's success and when you check it's our second category and it's our second hyphen cat category okay so now it's uh, working fine now it's time to uh, make this validate make it validate so first of all we need to take our all the data from our database so we need to select our database so write query dollar query equal to select sorry select all sorry we don't need to select all i just uh, need slug i just need our slug so i make it url sorry slug hyphen slug underscore url and also i put a second parameter which name is slug underscore url from our table name okay table name and again we need to put a third parameter which is name is table name because we have lots of things and i want to make it a reusable code okay from table name where where dollar slug underscore url like dollar text and percentage yeah that's a good now we need to execute this so again we need to prepare this query in the pdo extension so stmt like a statement dollar this db prepare our query okay and now we need to execute this query so dollar stmt execute okay now if you got a you got our data like more than zero rows we got our rows more than zero so let's check if dollar stmt sorry row count greater than zero so it's gave me a it's gave us a fetch all statement like uh, how can you fetch all the things and other things uh, like fetch all so yeah result equal to dollar stmt fetch all okay and now we need to run a run a loop so i write for each dollar result as dollar row and in the dollar row we need our data and array format array extension okay equal to dollar row our slug name okay or like slug url dollar slug underscore sorry slug underscore url now uh, when you got all this it's uh, give me some array now we need to check if our if our text is uh, match like match in the in that array so we need to add add a plus one or plus two so how can you check we need to take an in underscore array which is like it's a compare into the php function so if in underscore array it's our php inbuilt function okay 
dollar text we have our dollar text but uh, it's our first parameter and comma our data of like it's like our array okay so I take a variable which is by default it's uh, like zero and I run the will in underscore array now again I have adds add our things so dollar text if I found a duplicate file then we need to we need to convert with the divider it's our divider and dot it's a dollar text and I need to concatenate with this so I write dollar text sorry uh, yeah dot our count okay so plus plus and dollar count it's like if it's if it's have a zero it's uh convert into one it's when it's have one then it shows two okay it's not showing us like that but yeah comma dollar data okay let's have one two mm, I think it shows like in okay yeah comma dollar data and it's here is our dollar text equal to dollar text concatenate again dollar text concatenate again it's our here is our divider and dot dollar count count okay okay and okay I, th I think something is, is wrong we need another s semicolon for that okay let's uh, stop at here okay and after here is this and here is our input okay now I need to write return dollar text okay now again check in the browser so it is our categ second category and click on the save and it uh, give us a some error in line 15 50 mm, okay let's see oh i am so sorry for that uh, yeah now again click on the save okay okay now we need to put our all the parameters like sluggy url so here is our cart and here is our sluggy five function now what what we have into our database it's like category underscore slug underscore url so our our uh, second parameter is slug underscore url column name so here is our category underscore slug underscore url so i put this comma category underscore slug underscore url okay and our here is our table name table name is category okay yeah press the control s and check in the browser again save okay now it's a give it gives us a success message and i'll check in the browser now you can see it gives the second hyphen category hyphen one and again when you click on the, again the same value save it give us a success message and again now as you can see here is our uh, our relation is successfully created second hyphen category hyphen two okay 
but when you now it's time to um, add another validation like if it's empty so how can you check let's save it's again success and here is a blank data okay so how can you validate this it's just a simple thing to make like uh, Uh, if we got an empty dollar underscore post category underscore name then it gives us a echo message is please fill the category sorry uh, category form category field okay else if it is not empty and runs are as always okay again if it is empty save now as you can see here is our json data which is please fill the category field so how can you get uh, this uh, error text into our into our model so now we need to convert into all the things into the json so i dollar dollar data and right calligraphies empty underscore error equal to yeah and here is also status dollar data here is our status equal to 1 and if it is not success then it shows a 0 value ok and echo I convert into, uh, into the json encode I convert in this into the json format so json in code dollar data okay now again click on the save now it gives us a, a json format data okay now come back to the our category dot php file okay and here is our console dot log response so again i come coming back to the console okay as you can see here is our again it's the empty error so okay again uh what is that and also we need our stress zero at here also okay if we got a empty data again check yeah as you see here is two uh two fields which is, which is empty underscore error message and here is our status which is zero so if our response dot status equal to zero then what is the message okay it's a msg underscore error okay Uh, and 
we need a selector for this error so here is your category name and in at here after the input tag I take a span tag which ID have its name is error okay now again I take our selector so dollar hash error dot html and response dot msg underscore error okay and also we need a danger class so I put okay now press the control s and refresh it add new category and when you click on this as you can see please fill the category field okay now I change the color of this error so I take a class which is text danger okay save as you can see please fill the category field because it shows a error and if we got succeed then if dollar response dot status equal to one then we need to hide the uh, hide the uh, model and source a success message alert success now again another category okay save you can see it gives gives us a success message but I want to hide this auto automatically so what we need to put this we need to reset this form and also we need to hide this form so I remove that and oh where is the form and here is the or here is our form which id is cat underscore form so dollar hash cat underscore form and here is our reset here is the value dot reset okay and what is the id of this model mm, model id is cat model okay so dollar hash cat model okay model or model okay it's a model so m o d a l height okay now refresh now again uh, check from the beginning if i uh, leave this empty to it so it shows a empty error and if I write a mobile and click on the save and it's a hide and when I click on the again it's also resetted successfully and here is our mobile and if I again write a mobile save Okay, mobile funny one. Okay, here is one thing. It's also it's a uh, here is or error is again. It written here. So again, uh, yeah. And I 
live with an empty box okay refresh and, and here is our um, like a smartphone again okay there is something wrong okay now it's going successfully so i hope uh, you can understand how to validate our slug url and how to hide this table when you got the success message okay now in the next video so in the next video we will fetch all the data at this page so let's see in the next video thank you so much and stay with me happy coding